All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome. Let's actually make that welcome back. It's so great to be back in Shoreline Amphitheater after three years away. Throughout the pandemic, Google has focused on delivering accurate information to help people stay healthy. Over the last year, people use Google Search and Maps to find where they could get a COVID vaccine nearly two billion times. During last year's monsoon season, our flood alerts notified more than 23 million people in India and Bangladesh. There is a long tale of languages that are underrepresented on the web today, and translating them is a hard technical problem. So with advances in machine learning, we have developed a monolingual approach where the model learns to translate a new language without ever seeing a direct translation of it. Today, I'm excited to announce that we are adding 24 new languages to Google Translate. Using advances in 3D mapping and machine learning, we are fusing billions of aerial and street-level images to create a new high-fidelity representation of a place. These breakthrough technologies are coming together to power a new experience in maps called Immersive View. It allows you to explore a place like never before. Now, if you're looking to grab a bite during your visit, you can check out restaurants nearby and get a glimpse inside. What's amazing is that this isn't a drone flying in the restaurant. We use neural rendering to create the experience from images alone. This feature will start rolling out in Google Maps for select cities globally this year. Eco-friendly routes have already rolled out in the US and Canada, and people have used them to travel 86 billion miles, helping save an estimated half million metric tons of carbon emissions, the equivalent of taking 100,000 cars off the road. We are expanding this feature to more places including Europe later this year. Last year, we launched auto-generated chapters to make it easier to jump to the part you're most interested in. We are now applying multimodal technology from DeepMind. It simultaneously uses text, audio, and video to auto-generate chapters with greater accuracy and speed. Next up, we are bringing auto-translated captions on YouTube to mobile, which means viewers can now auto-translate video captions in 16 languages, and creators can grow their global audience. That's why we have introduced automated summarization for Google Docs. Using one of our machine learning models, Google Docs will automatically parse and pull out the main points. It'll come to Google Chat in the next few months, providing a helpful digest of chat conversations. So you can jump right back into a group chat or look back at the key, key highlights. Starline inspired machine learning powered image processing to automatically improve your image quality on Google Meet. And it works on all types of devices, so you look your best wherever you are. We're also bringing studio quality virtual lighting to Meet. You can adjust the light position and brightness so you'll still be visible in a dark room or sitting in front of a window. Just last month, we launched MultiSearch, one of our most significant updates to search. In the Google app, you can now search by taking a photo and asking a question at the same time. Multi-search near me. Just take a picture or long press one you see online and add near me to find what you need from the millions of local businesses we serve in Google. Let's say I spot a tasty looking dish online. With this new capability, I can quickly identify that it's japchae, a Korean dish, find nearby restaurants that serve it, and enjoy it in no time. In the future, with an advancement we're calling scene exploration, you'll be able to use multi-search to pan your camera and ask a question and instantly glean insights about multiple objects in a wider scene. If you went to the store today to find the best nut-free dark chocolate, you'd be standing in the aisle for a while. But thanks to scene exploration, you'll be able to scan the entire shelf with your camera and see helpful insights overlaid in front of you. At I.O. last year, we announced Realtone, a multi-year initiative to build more equitable camera and imagery experiences on Pixel 6. Today, we're excited to share how we're starting to use the Monk Skin Tone Scale to build more inclusive products across Google. And for makeup queries like everyday eyeshadow and bridal makeup looks, users will have a new way to filter by relevant skin tones to find more helpful results. And later this month, we'll be launching new real tone filters that were designed to work well across skin tones and evaluated using the Monk scale. 
And that's why we're pleased to announce that today we are open sourcing the Monk Skin Tone Scale so anyone can use it as a more representative skin tone guide. First is a new feature for Nest Hub Max called Look and Talk, which is beginning to roll out today. You can simply look directly at your device and ask for what you need. I can simply look over and ask, show me some beaches in Santa Cruz. I found a few beaches near Santa Cruz. How long does it take to get to that first one? By car, the trip to Natural Bridges State Beach is 51 minutes. And in the next few months, you'll be able to ask your assistant for many common requests, like setting alarms, asking for the time, and controlling lights from your Nesta Max, all without saying the hot word. If you listen closely, people's conversations are full of ums, pauses, and corrections. But doing this for open-ended conversations across the assistant is a really hard problem. Play the new song from... Mm -hmm. Florence and the something? Got it. Playing free from Florence and the Machine on Spotify. Today, we are excited to announce Lambda 2, our most advanced conversational AI yet. This demo tests if the model can take a creative idea, you give it, and generate imaginative and relevant descriptions. Say you're writing a story and you need some inspirational ideas. Maybe one of your characters is exploring the deep ocean. You can ask what that might feel like. Here, Lambda describes a scene in the Mariana Trench. It even generates follow-up questions for you on the fly. In this demo, we have primed the model to focus on the topic of dogs. It again starts by generating a question to spark conversation. Have you ever wondered why dogs love to play fetch so much? And if you ask a follow-up question, you get an answer with some relevant details. It's interesting. Uh, it thinks uh, it might have something to do with the sense of smell and treasure hunting. And this will be the first ever live demo of Landa from stage. I'm going to tap start, and this is a project I've been thinking a lot about lately. Plant a vegetable garden. I'll send this off to Landa, and there it is. On the fly, it's come up with these different steps and broken it down into this list of subtasks. Now, what's interesting about these is I can quickly drop into one of them. Let's say this one, like what might grow in the area. And you can see it will give me further suggestions. One of the other things Lambda does is not just break down lists, but you can generate a tip. So here, when I tap generate a tip, oh, it's never seen this one before, actually. It's telling me if I have a small yard or patio, it gives me different vegetables I might be able to grow. We recently announced a new model. It's called Pathways Language Model, or POM for short. It's our largest model to date and trained on 540 billion parameters. Palm demonstrates breakthrough performance on many natural language processing tasks, such as generating code from text, answering a math word problem, or even explaining a joke. What are popular pizza toppings in New York City? And the model again answers correctly in Bengali. What is so impressive is Palm has never seen parallel sentences between Bengali and English. It was never explicitly thought to answer questions or translate at all. The model brought all of its capabilities together to answer questions correctly in Bengali. Soon, if you're working in a shared doc that contains a suspicious link, we'll automatically alert you and take you back to safety. Cybersecurity experts say the single most important way to protect your account and help prevent cyber attacks is to use multi-factor authentication. That's why we've made our two-step verification as easy as it gets. Whether you're on Android or iOS, just one tap on your phone and you're in. No six-digit codes. We were the first consumer technology company to offer two-step verification. And we're now the first to turn it on by default. Today, I'm excited to announce the launch of virtual cards on Chrome and Android. Now, when you use autofill to complete your payment details at checkout, we'll replace your card number with a distinct virtual number, reducing the risk of fraud and identity theft. We never sell your personal information to anyone. 
or use the content you store in apps like Gmail, Google Photos, or Drive for advertising purposes. We also never use sensitive information like health, race, religion, or sexual orientation for personalized ads, period. So later this year, we'll launch My Ad Center to give you even more control over the ads you see across YouTube, search, and discover. Android 13 builds on our Material U design language. All your app icons can now incorporate your color theme. And there's a new media control that tailors its look to the music you're listening to, the new Google Wallet. Your Google Wallet securely stores your payment cards, so you can tap to pay anywhere Google Pay is accepted. You can show your student ID on campus, board a flight, or start your car. You can even use it as your park pass to explore Walt Disney World. Items that contain highly personal information, like your vaccine card, are stored on your device and not shared with anyone, not even Google. So we're working with states here in the US and governments around the world to bring digital IDs to wallet later this year. We'll start bringing emergency SOS to where, so you can instantly contact a trusted friend or family member or call emergency services right from your watch. At I.O. last year, we announced some huge updates to Wear OS, including launching our joint platform with Samsung. Favorites like Spotify, Adidas Running, Line, and Kakao Talk have all recently come to the platform, with many more coming soon. And this year, there's another, bigger screen that consumers are super excited about. Tablets. From the moment you power on the device, you can see the Android experience has been refined for the larger screen. One thing I absolutely love are the changes to the notification shade. It's been expanded to let you see more at a glance and have control right at your fingertips. Choose a photo, even edit it. It was pretty warm that day, as I remember it. And then drag it straight in. This fall, we're extending Phone Hub so you can directly access all your phone's messaging apps on your Chromebook. Phone Hub gives you the exact app you're familiar with because of streaming from your phone. No need to install a desktop client or keep one running in a tab that gets lost on your browser. And here's one of my favorite new features. Copy something on your phone and paste it on your tablet. It could be a URL, an address, or even a picture or screenshot. Matter connects our Google Nest hardware along with top brands and hundreds of supported products like light bulbs, door locks, smart plugs, and a lot more. It's a big list. You'll be able to quickly connect all those Matter-enabled devices in seconds to your home network, Google Home, and your favorite apps using FastPair. Like all our A-series phones, Pixel 6a delivers the helpful, personal Pixel experience for the unbeatable price of $449. That's right. And you'll notice the Pixel camera bar, which houses our dual rear camera system with a 12 megapixel main and ultra wide lens. We've developed a common hardware system that we've scaled across the Pixel portfolio from our flagship phones to our A-series. It means that Pixel 6a includes the same fast 5G connectivity as Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. It uses the exact same security architecture with Titan M2 for industry-leading protection that makes the phone more resilient to attacks. And most importantly, Pixel 6a uses the same premium Google Tensor SoC as our Pixel 6 Pro. The camera system has real tone built in, so your photos are beautifully and accurately reflect your own skin tone. It also has night sight, so you can take incredible low light photos. And yes, Pixel 6a includes Magic Eraser in Google Photos. We've enhanced Magic Eraser, so you can also change the color of distracting objects in your photo. In a tap, the object's colors and shading blend in naturally. And thanks to Tensor, we're able to bring Live Translate to Pixel 6a. 
But for those who want the latest, greatest, and fastest, we're also working on our next generation Pixel 7 phones. Let me give you an early preview so you can see what's coming this fall. Here's a first look at the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. You can see that we've extended the aluminum finish to the entire camera bar for the next evolution of the Pixel design language. And the gorgeous Pixel 7 Pro in its triple camera system sets a completely new standard for photography, performance, and design. They'll use the next generation of our Google Tensor SoC. And this summer, we're excited to expand the Pixel Buds family with a Pro tier offering. It's a powerful new set of earbuds called Pixel Buds Pro. Pixel Buds Pro deliver one of the best noise cancellation performances in wireless earbuds today because they're designed around a new custom audio processor. Our active noise cancellation uses new silent seal technology to compensate for audio leakage. This helps maximize the amount of noise that's being canceled so you get immersive, premium sound without distraction. Sometimes, though, you do want to hear what's going on around you. For these occasions, there's transparency mode. It lets outside sound in so you experience the world like you're not wearing earbuds at all. Pixel Buds Pro gives you up to 11 hours listening time, or seven hours with active noise cancellation turned on, so you can tune out the noise on that long flight. The new Pixel Buds Pro come in four colors. They'll be available online for pre-order on July 21st and on sale the 28th, delivering the smarts of Google and top tier active noise cancellation for $199. We will start with a quick preview of the new Google Pixel watch. <laughs> it's the first watch built inside and out by Google. And it's coming this fall with our new Pixel 7, a tactile crown and beautiful recycled stainless steel with customizable bands that seamlessly attach. And with Google Maps, you can get directions on the go even without your phone. With the new Google Wallet, you can leave your physical wallet at home too. Now my favorite thing about the watch is the deep integration with Fitbit, which is coming first. It'll be available this fall, and we'll share many more details in the coming months. So here's a first ever look at our new Pixel tablet. It's a next generation Android tablet powered by Google Tensor, designed to be a perfect companion for your Pixel phone. The tablet bridges your on-the-go life with your at-home life, working seamlessly with all of your Pixel devices to provide the most helpful experience possible. Let's see what happens when we take our advancements in translation and transcription and deliver them in your line of sight in one of the early prototypes we've been testing. Take a look. Giving people the gift of communicating with anyone, no matter what language they speak, I think is a really powerful thing. Yes, you can go home. Thank you to all of the developers, partners, and customers who joined us today. We look forward to building the future with all of you. Thank you so much. <laughs>